I went thrifting at the Goodwill outlet bins a few times over the last week and have a pretty good size haul of items to flip online. So I'm going to be selling all of these on eBay and Poshmark. And I think one of the trips I went, I only found like four things and then another trip was like close to 20 things. So you never know what you're going to find and how successful the thrift trip will be. I'm sure if you thrift at the bins, you can relate. It is just a gamble essentially. So I'll share with you guys what I found. One thing already sold, so I'll show that when we get to it. But thank you for watching and let's hop right in. So the first item is this aloe yoga bag with this space dye print. I think they call it the everyday tote bag. It's a pretty big, large size tote. When I saw this, I immediately recognized it just because I have flipped one really similar to this, an aloe yoga one before. So I did check both comps and the sell-through rate just because I didn't know if this was a very saturated item on eBay and Poshmark, but I was surprised to find that the sell-through rate was over 100% on eBay. So there are plenty more that have sold in the last 90 days than are listed. So I felt pretty safe picking it up. And a lot of the ones listed are brand new and this one is obviously used, but they, even used were going for around 30 to 35 so that's kind of what I expect to make for this but let me know if you guys have found this bag before or if you've seen it because I've definitely seen this aloe yoga bag plenty of times but it is apparently still very popular so if you find it it might be a good item to grab all right next up is this pair of loft pants they're a trouser pant the Marissa trouser in this kind of camel or chestnut brown color size six and this was a style-based pickup. A lot of these items are style-based pickups just because I wasn't finding a ton of like spectacular brands over the last week when I went, but I decided while I'm there, if I you know find good items that are a good style, even if the brand isn't anything super exciting or major or will go for a lot, it's still worth it to grab. So for me, at least in a lot of cases, but these I thought might be kind of a wool blend or something, but they are not. They have a nice kind of straight leg with a little bit of pleating um, or just like the nice lines. And this is after even being washed. So they do have those nice crisp lines that make them look very sleek and elegant. But I am expecting probably somewhere around 25 or 30 for these pants. Then I found this Levi's long line button front and full zip jacket, a utility jacket with some pockets throughout. Levi's, typically Levi's jackets do decently well. Denim jackets have done very well for me in the past, but I have sold other jackets by Levi's and they do typically do pretty well. They don't always sell super quickly, but I can expect it to be a good flip. I would guess I'll make probably around 30 to 40 or so for this. It's in pretty darn good condition and it's a good time of year, pretty good transitional kind of a piece so I would imagine now is a good time for that to flip especially being pink it's a very spring color all right next is this pair of lululemon leggings and if you have any um expertise in how to identify lululemon leggings please let me know I really struggle when they're just plain black leggings Sometimes to figure out the exact style. Let me know if you guys know or if there's any way to really identify because sometimes I end up just putting Lululemon, you know, full length or 7 8 length leggings, high rise, stuff like that, but I don't always know the exact style name. So let me know if you know or if there's a good way to, I guess, figure it out other than by going to the store. I guess I could do that. I go to the just a regular store and kind of like look and feel and figure it out, but um, the size on these, the size dot in this little pocket, size four, but Lululemon leggings, I definitely grab them at the bins. Even if they have some pilling, I'll just use my sweater shaver and get the pilling out, but these really didn't have any pilling almost at all, so that was an easy grab, definitely. Okay, next up is a vintage pair of high-rise trousers. I just thought these were a really good pair of um, shorts heading into spring, summer, high-rise Kind of a classic sort of a style, very polished, very professional. I thought these were good. And I am picking up a little more vintage than I ever have before and just kind of trying it out, experimenting. It's, you know, not costing me too much. And for the most part, the items do flip, especially if you use, you know, good keywords and everything. Next up is this pair of frame Le vintage Bermuda shorts. 
And when I first saw these, I thought they were just a pair of jeans turned into a longer length short, but they are called the, you know, vintage Bermuda shorts. So they were a actual intentional pair of shorts, but they are a size 28 high rise zip fly frayed hem at the bottom. And I would expect maybe 25 or 30 or so for these. Then this added basically no weight to my total at the bins. This Everlane triangle bralette, adjustable straps. Thought this was a really good basic. And again, it was so light that it's kind of a no brainer. Threw it in the cart, good condition. Should be, I would guess around a $20, $25 flip or so. Then this I was very excited to find. I don't always grab Lulu's. But this dress was stunningly beautiful. It's got this lace um, top part, long sleeves, a little bit of a V neckline. And it is just a beautiful in this navy color, maxi length, fully lined, back zip closure. And I thought heading into wedding season, it's a good time to find dresses, any formal events really that'll be happening in the spring summer, but even though it is long sleeve and maybe more of a fall winter style, I think this will still hopefully flip, you know, relatively quickly just because so many people will be getting more formal attire for events and things in the spring summer. So, you know, especially with it being lace, I don't see this being a dress that'll keep you super warm. So hopefully even though we are out of fall winter that'll be a good flip pretty soon here i actually did find a good amount of dresses over the last week so that's nice i'm on the lookout for dresses shorts skirts tank tops short sleeves you know anything summer spring summer related i will be heavily focusing on getting over these next few months especially so another dress this is a torrid skater dress with some rose print details size 4 which is a 4x great condition it's a little bit of an older style i believe the tag said it was from 2016 but it's still a really nice dress good condition and especially it being a 4x i was thrilled to grab it i don't find 4x items that often especially you know good style good print good condition all that so for me, I did want to grab that. I haven't flipped anything by Torrid in actually quite a bit, I don't think. So I'm curious to see how that one does, especially because it is a little bit of an older piece, but I'm hopeful that it'll still be a good flip, especially with the floral print. All right, so next up, this is a actually new to me brand. The brand is MZ Wallace, and this is a really nice nylon shoulder bag. It's got some zippered pockets throughout, front and back, very good condition. And I was looking at comps for this bag and this brand in particular, and they were looking pretty strong. So I'm hoping to get somewhere right around 50 for this, 40, 50. And let me know if you have any experience selling MZ Wallace. Um, when I was doing some research, I did find that it sold at Nordstrom and other you know, high-end retailers like that. So. I do imagine this to be a quick flip, but I was really excited to find it. And it's always fun to find new brands that look like they will be promising and good flips. So I'm hopeful that this will be a good flip. All right, another dress, perfect for spring. It's a nice polka dot. I think this is a sheath dress style, kind of a mini to midi length, maybe knee length. And it's got a back zip closure sleeveless size eight and this is by the brand eliza j so this was as you can see just by these marks it was originally at a goodwill and then it was sent to the bins it was either priced too high no one bought it or just was sitting for a bit no one bought it but this brand eliza j i rarely come across and um i do you know think that this dress will do well just because of the style the time of year the print brand i think it's all around a good piece and the size size eight so I'm curious to see how this one does but i do think this likely will be a good flip i would expect i don't know maybe maybe around 40 or so for this 40 to 50 but i am not positive yet on that one gotta gotta see all right then another vintage item this is by the brand erica and co 
and it's a size small floral print, kind of a ditzy floral, button front, collared, short sleeve, cropped. At this, again, kind of a style pickup, good floral spring print vintage. I'll use that in the listing and description, but probably would expect right around 20 or so for that. This is a Madewell dress, and I've sold this dress in a different color before. It's a button front, v-neckline, short sleeve, I would say mini length dress, um, size medium. This is a few years old, I believe it's from 2019, and very good, just like simple Madewell dress, maroon colored. Probably get right around 25 or so, 25 to 30 for this, good condition but I'm a little picky with Madewell, but that one I felt like would probably be a pretty decent flip. Might take a bit, but we'll see. All right, next up, this is a pair of Everlane shorts. They're called the Denim Short Organic Cotton, size 30, in this chestnut brown color, and these actually just sold on Poshmark for $30, so I need to get these shipped out. They have a zip fly, a cuffed raw hem at the bottom, high rise, great pair of shorts, super quick flip, um, I listed those and they flipped like almost immediately, so I guess be on the lookout for Everlane organic cotton shorts. Or just, you know, shorts in general right now are probably a pretty safe pickup. Alright, so this is a Columbia PFG long sleeve checkered button front blouse top. This is a um, performance fishing brand by Columbia, the PFG in the back. So I know these actually do pretty well. I really don't find them that often, but being in Portland, Columbia is headquartered here, so there is a decent amount of Columbia to be found at the bins and in thrift stores, which I normally do pass on, but it being the PFG line, I did want to grab it. It's also very lightweight, but this is probably going to be around a $25 flip or so. This next one is a style-based pickup. Again, the brand is Stitch and Pine, which let me know if you know where this is sold. I would guess it's sold somewhere like Marshalls or something, but it's a um, checkered academia skirt. So it looks like a skirt, but then it actually has the shorts underneath. So it's a very cute style. And I would even call this a micro skirt. And that was the main reason I grabbed it is I did a little bit of trend research a few days back and micro skirts and micro shorts are going to be in this spring summer so I thought this was a good style but this again is a style based pickup not a brand pickup I probably expect somewhere between 15 and 20 I'll probably list these at 20 and expect about about 15. Next up is this pair of Patagonia base layer pants in a women's size medium they're the Kapaline I don't know if that's the style of pant but I know these are a base layer pant so it's not necessarily the best time to be listing a base layer item, but I'm still going to get this up and I hope it'll be a decent flip. I would expect around 25, maybe 30 max for these, but they are in excellent condition, so it shouldn't be too hard to flip. This one I'm just trying out. This is a universal thread v-neckline, short sleeve, um, oh, what do you call that? When it's like layered like this. Ooh, I can't think of that. Tiered? I think this is called tiered. Dress, mini length, nice summer dress. This is a Target brand, size small, and I passed on a lot of Target branded items, but I felt like, again, this is a good time of year to buy this, springtime. It's a good simple kind of a dress, and Target, it's obviously a, you know, big box retailer, but their items can be a little spendy, I would say, sometimes, so Someone might go to the resale market to get this for like 20 bucks. And it was from 2022, so a very recent style. And yeah, I normally leave Target items behind, but I felt like that one could be a good flip. All right, this brand I've never tried before, so this is going to be kind of an experiment to see how it does. But I thought this was a really nice striped button front blouse top, super soft. It's by the brand Beach Lunch Lounge, and it's a size small. All right, then this one I personally liked. It's by the brand Moth, which is sold at Anthropology, and it says the future is female. It's a pullover crew neck sweater, and size large. Probably get right around 25 for this. This is a, another vintage piece. It's by the brand Venezia, Venezia, um, and it's just this nice 
button front collared, short sleeve, kind of Americana shirt. And it's a size 26, 28 in men's. I might even market this towards women though, just because this would be so cute with like a belt or something, a small thin like white belt, a black belt and some sandals. So I think I might market this as more of like a women's kind of like shirt dress versus a men's item. But yeah, that's kind of my thought process on that one. This one did add a little bit of weight. It's kind of a heavier item. So I really wasn't positive I was going to grab it. And I don't even think it's going to flip for that much, but it was in super good condition. And just, I like the style and feel like it'll at least sell for 25 or so but it is a Wilfred extra small zip up, slouchy, relaxed fit hoodie with some stud details, some zippered pockets, just kind of a unique hoodie. Then I found this Princess Polly button front plaid, collared long sleeve top, size eight, kind of more of a fall item, but thought it would still be a good flip and expect around maybe 20, 25 or so for that. Next up is this pair of Levi's 501 denim cutoff shorts in a dark wash with a frayed hem and a button fly. Good time of year to find these. Should be a pretty good flip. Probably get, I would guess around 25 or so for those. All right, then I think the most exciting find of this whole haul, it was this Christian Dior houndstooth print, large makeup bag, with a top zip closure. And I did have to do a little investigation to make sure it's real, but it is authentic and in great condition. So this is probably gonna be a good, you know, sale price, good flip, but I'm guessing it'll take a little while just because it might take a bit for the right buyer to come along. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video.